What's up, what's up? It's your boy Jones and Man, and I'm here with James from Four Lane Blacktop, and we're going to Jones on Blacken. Yeah! What up, what up, man? It's been, it's been a long time since we kicked it. Yes, from what? Year, year and a half? Yeah, Three man. Months? COVID, COVID, and just... Life in general, man, just had people so separated. Yep. So we definitely going to, um, I appreciate you coming through. We definitely going to talk a little bit about what you got going on. Um, I thought Blacken was a perfect selection because I know I know you um, dabble with the axe from time to time. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about this one here. So I don't even know how much this was. I forgot. I want to say maybe 50 bucks somewhere in that neighborhood. We're going to open this thing on up. Um, this is Blacken, which is a collaboration with Metallica. Um, one thing that's a little bit different about this bottle than a lot of celebrity bottles, uh, who was involved in the creation process was Dave Pickerel. So if you know anything about whiskey in general, Dave Pickerel, Dave Pickerel has done a lot in the whiskey world. I mean, I, I would say he is a craftsman in what he's able to pull together. So I really have high hopes for this. So it's 90 proof. Um, I, I, I will admit that I have tried the Blacken slash Willet combination, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give my thoughts on that right now. We're gonna go straight into it. Um, another cool thing about this is, it is a blend of a rye whiskey, a bourbon, and just a regular whiskey in general. So it's a, it's a blend of those three things. They also <laughs> age it in, what was it, what did it say, black brandy cast. So once they distill it, spend some time in the barrel, they actually blend all those things together and put it in a black sherry, I'm not, not sherry, black brandy cast. And while it's in the black brandy cast, they play music to it. Wow. To move it in and out of the barrel. So this, this is batch 95, and I, I wrote down somewhere. So batch 95, you can actually go on the website. I think it's blacking.com. And uh, go on the website, enter the batch number that you have, and then it will tell you the track list. So I'm not real familiar with Metallica, but from whom the bells troll. From whom the bells told. For whom the bells told. Oh, I put troll. Uh, here comes revenge. The thing that should be should not be should not be okay. Uh, fade to black. Fade to black. Um, me metal militia. Metal militia. And the outlaw torn. Okay. So I guess while we're drinking this, we're gonna see if we can taste any of that. <laughs> taste any of that in the in the bottle. So it's exclusively Metallica music display. Exclusively, and oh, I didn't know that. it's not the same songs. So oh. like, if you got batch ninety six. It might be a different track list that's playing for back, Batch 96 to age. Wow, that's interesting. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I guess they expect the vibrations, I guess, to kind of bring it into the wood, maybe. So I really don't think the music matters as much, but maybe it does. The tempo. Or, or is it like the boutique kind of like, okay, we played music to it? Well, okay. <laughs> you know? I, I think you can make an argument for both sides. However, I do know that there, there are. Um, studies and a lot of um, experimentation going on right now about can sound affect the 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 juice uh, breathing in and out of a barrel because there's Charles Woodson over here, which is you know Charles Woodson the football player, yeah, Hall of Fame football player. His whiskey is aged only six months, but they use ultrasonic technology which it might include more vibration in that aspect, to age a six month a, a, a whiskey up to six months. And honestly, it tastes like a, a four-year, three at least a three or four-year-old whiskey. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wager, I don't know how long they put it in those barrels, but I'm going to wager it has some effect or the potential to have some effect if it's loud enough to vibrate that juice in the barrel. Yeah, I guess it kind of helps the molecules and stuff move around. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just it's just it's just basic basic. I guess uh, what is that uh, 
molecular chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Either that or the uh, the guys that are brewing this stuff just really like to listen to metallic music real loud all day. That, that could be <laughs> what it is. So let's uh, let's take a whiff. See what she smells like. Now. Smells kind of buttery. A little buttery. A little sweet. A little sweet. Kind of has a, has a rye smell to me though. I feel, I feel like a little bit of rye. A little, little, little sweet corn underneath there. A little rye on the top. But let's do what we do. Let's click them and drink them. Oh. Woo. It's got some spice to it. Got some spice. I was going to say, to me, drinks on the front end, a lot like rye. Rye is real spicy and peppery like... Oh, your tongue on the sides, on the top, it's, it's tingling all over right now. Now, on the end, it gives me a little bit of caramel like a, a bourbon. But it feels a lot like a rye. Boy, this must be rye heavy. Yeah. Any any initial thoughts? We're going to put this thing on the rocks. This is the first drink it's, of the day for me. So It's spicy and it's strong, but it's not... I don't feel like it's overpowering. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it only thing I can really compare this to is maybe Jack, and it tastes like it's definitely a step above that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Jack, Jack's a, Jack has a lot more sweetness, a little more um, vanilla aspects to it than this does. But um, let's 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 see if on the rocks it helps a little bit. Clink them and drink them. Okay, this tables the heat down a lot, Which, a lot. I think ice always does that. Yeah, for sure. Check them clear ice balls out in there. Hmm. Okay. I think you lose. Um, I like cold drinks anyway, but I think you kind of lose a little bit of the flavor. Like it kind of feels like the sweetness and the the, the butteriness at the end kind of. Is a little dissipated. I don't know if that's because the ice has melted a little bit or yeah. or what. I, I I agree with you on that. Um, taste wise, it tastes better neat. Yes, I think so too. Um, drinkability wise, it's easier to drink on the rocks because it's it's just you know there's not a lot of heat in there. It's easy to drink, um, but it just tastes better on the rocks. Oh, for sure. All right. Um. Whew, so. Uh, let me, I'm going to add, well, uh, let's rate it. Scale of one to five. One being, push this thing off the table because it is disgusting. And five being, oh, this is my new favorite. We're drinking black and all day long, baby. <laughs> I would say probably, i give it probably a four. Four. I think four is a good okay. one. Okay. That's overall, like, taste and, yeah. you know, price and everything. Okay, okay. Um... I think I'm, I'm gonna say I think you like it a little bit more than I do. Um, let me go back to back to that neat one. Um, some some cinnamon in there. I don't know, man. I, I guess in my head, I'm kind of comparing it. So I also tried, like I said in the beginning, the black and Willet combination, which was like. It's a cast drink bottle, so it's higher proof, uh, and it is a collaboration. And honestly, while wow, that bottle was 130 bucks or 120 bucks, so it should be better. Oh, for sure. I enjoyed that bottle substantially better. Um, it had, it had the the caramel notes, the vanilla. Um, it had a nice, rich flavor profile to it. Now, was it my new favorite whiskey of all times? No. But in comparison to these two, um, I definitely think the collaboration is definitely better. Um, and I think because of that, where I might have said, you know, maybe this is a three, you know, overall, uh, especially neat. I'm, I might have to go 2.5 because I'm comparing it. You ain't had a chance to taste no, that. But by me comparing it, man, it's just, uh, I don't know, man. It just doesn't live up to it. I, I don't hate it. But it's so ripe, spice heavy, and none of the the car no, very little of the caramel and vanilla notes that I like in my whiskey. Uh, it's just uh, maybe two point five, two point seven five somewhere in that neighborhood. 
but definitely the collaboration is better to me. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going back to it and see if it changes. I mean, it does have that spice of the meat. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, 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 not, it's not hot. Like, it's not overpowering. It's just, it has a spice, and I like spicy food. Yeah, so yeah. It kind of, that spice, it's kind of, it lingers. It's got great legs to it. I mean, look at how it tears down the glass. It has all the great elements of it. I just, uh, I don't know, man. Not, not, a, not a favorite for me. Not a favorite. And I don't really feel like it's, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I, it doesn't really look that dark. Either. It doesn't. It, look, it looks, it's very a uh, light amber kind of deal. Yeah, for sure. So, I know you got a lot going on over there. Uh, tell the audience what's happening over there at Four Lane. Well, I got a bunch of car projects to do. Uh, car rebuilds, salvage rebuilds. Uh, we got some custom cars. I have some car show footage. and Basically, I'm just putting together, you know, several cars right now. And that's keeping me pretty busy. What, give us a little teaser. Like, what, what's, what's, what is your favorite car right now that you got that you're working on? Oh, well, I ain't really started working on my favorite one just yet. Okay. But, um, I've got a Monte Carlo SS that I'm working on, Ooh. and then I've got a convertible Ford Mustang that I'm about to drop content on. Okay, okay. Future, so, and then I've got my some of my older projects I'm still working on. Yeah, yeah. How's how's the uh, last week here? You were working on the Big B. How's the Bentley going? Oh, have uh, you, you got rid of it already? Or no, you still I, still, got... I still have it. Okay. Um, I know you were talking like, man, I'm going to fix it up, yeah, around for a little while and get rid of it. Did it grow on you a little bit? It grew on me the day I bought it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I kind of always wanted that car. So, yeah, I still have it. Um, might I might potentially sell it later on this year. I'm not sure. Okay. I've been trying to get another one. Okay. But the way the used car market is and yeah. even... Even at the salvage auction, the prices are just through the roof. Through the roof, yeah. And they're just they're just hard to get, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, she looks good, man. She looks good, right? Good. I'm gonna yeah. be willing to check out that Mustang soon. Yeah, it gets better gas mileage than the Bentley. You know, five dollars <laughs> a gallon for gas. Right yeah, now. I paid four ninety eight, man. Four ninety eight. I mean, it's premium, but four ninety eight. Yeah, you got to run premium in that thing. Too, yeah. So. Oh, God, no. Five dollars a gallon. Woo. All right, well, um, so Blacken is a solid whiskey. In comparison, you say it's probably about a good solid four because it's, it's good. You enjoy it. Me, I'm kind of comparing it to its big brother. Um, and I think because of that, I may be, I may be a little struggling to rate it a little bit higher. Uh, what do you think about Blacken? Have you tried it? Um, let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, this has been another episode of Jones and Man. Follow me on Facebook. Instagram and Twitter and the Tiki Talk. Uh, if you need something special for yourself, I think you can even grab this blacking uh, at cwspirits.com forward slash Jones and Man. Use my code Clinkum5. Free shipping when you spend 125 bucks. Uh, we got some more planning to do, right, James? That's right. All right, see you next time. Clinkum and drink them. Clinkum and drink them.